People are, oh no, the sponsor. What, you think the Yogg's cast has never sworn? We can't, we cannot... You what? I almost said c**t. You cannot kill <laughs> oh, no. a pig. Sorry. You said c**t. God, that would have been awful if I said that, wouldn't it? Good <laughs> God, you I didn't. almost said the C word, which is c**t. <laughs> Sorry if there are any children. Oh, oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep not tonight to now. Jeez. No you said that, and I'm sure a child somewhere around out here in my house or whatever died. Mommy, what does the C word mean? They just burst into tears. Oh, God. Just burst into flames. <laughs> no, swearing. Swearing oh. is bad. It's not big, it's not clever, but it is cool. It's really <laughs> cool. Yeah. It uh, is actually. Yeah. Do you think the national anthem would be cooler if it had swearing in? Uh, God save God the fucking save queen. Save the fucking queen. <laughs> <laughs> she is a c No! <laughs> oh, no! Well, there is there goes the OBE. There goes the <laughs> well, until she dies now. and then um Prince Charles takes Charles over. Charles will probably give you but one for that. That was his mother. We are gonna have to bleep every instance of that word, you know. So what? Charles. Yeah. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles. That's my middle name. The C word. My middle name is not the C word. <laughs> Please. It's a C word. Simon <laughs> Lane. I'm not I'm not fully familiar with their entire body of work. But I'm sure like at one point they went, oh shit, that's Hero Brian or something like that. You know? You, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me just because you don't have to swear? Like the same way Marky Mark in his uh Oh, you piece of junk. The same way in Good Vibrations, he spells out druggy and says it's not for me. D-R-U-G-G-I-E is not the lifestyle for me. Feel the, come on, feel it, feel it. You know what I'm saying? Feel the good vibrations. I'm dead, I'm dead. I one more, one more. You're, someone in chat said, personally, I prefer the Bee Gees, sorry, the, the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations. That's bold. You really think that um, Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys is better than Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Come on. I do have to say, I'm, I'm very, uh, I would even say, over the years I've come to become anti-Mark Wahlberg. Obviously, he's, he's done some stuff in the past that is uh, obviously objectionable. However, I wouldn't say I separated the art from the artist, but if you had asked me in 2013 how I feel about Mark Wahlberg as an, as an actor, I would have been like, most of the time I see him in a movie, I'm like, I like what he's doing in the movie, okay? But then there was the quote about how if he was on the planes, it wouldn't have gone down like that, which is just insulting to the people who were on the planes. And then I saw that, uh, one episode of the HBO TV show where he's like running his business and then the pandemic hits and his business is literally selling t-shirts and he's like this is ridiculous like this is gonna destroy I mean he was basically his business is he was struggling to launch his new business because the pandemic happened and I was like obviously it affected everyone but at the same time brother you're Mark Wahlberg like do I, do I really care that, like, oh, hey, yeah, I know a lot of people are getting sick right now and, like, losing their jobs on top of that, but, hey, what about Mark Wal already extremely well-off Mark Wahlberg's t-shirt business? What about his new t-shirt business? That all being said, this was all a setup to me saying, I actually feel like good vibrations goes kind of hard. It's not as good as the Beach Boys Good Vibrations, but it's, I still feel like that's, it's something about the, it's got that very like late 80s, early 90s, dun, 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 in the background. Like the, the, the chunky electronic keyboard. Also, he sounds like a, like the person in a main menu of a Sega Dreamcast game. Whenever he's not actually rapping in the song. Like when he's just doing the stings in the background. Come on, come on! Feel it, feel it! Like it sounds like something that the like the announcer in Dungeons and Dragons would say to or not Dungeons and Dragons, sorry, Dance Dance Revolution would say to you while you got like a sick combo. 
Yes, she sounds like the announcer in SSX Tricky. That's perfect. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!